everything about grass types. Let's do this. Let's start off with some fun facts, shall we? In the Generation 1 games, there was a guide in the Cerulean City Gym that referred to Pokemon of the grass type as plant Pokemon. In the English versions, he instead mentions them as grass type Pokemon, later correcting himself. In the Japanese versions of the Generation games, or the Generation 1 games, Fire Red and Leaf Green, he mentions the grass type itself, calling it the plant type Pokemon. Another instance of grass types being referred to as plant Pokemon is made by Professor Oak in the Japanese Pokemon Red, Green, and Blue games, which he classifies Bulbasaur as the plant Pokemon, instead of the grass Pokemon as it is in the English version of the Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green games. The grass type has the most Pokemon that evolved by evolutionary stones, with a total of 11. It is also the type that can utilize the most stones. Having at least one Pokemon that can evolve via Leaf Stone, Sun Stone, Water Stone, and Shiny Stone. There are 28 Pokemon with a double weakness to grass, more than any other type. In more of, over, in all generations, grass was the most common double weakness, with the exception of Generation 1, where bug type Pokemon had one more Pokemon with a double weakness to it. However, grass is also the most doubly resisted type, such as from Charizard, which is fire and flying. The grass type has been paired with other every other type except for fire. And it's also the only type to have uh, more than one HP draining move, having five of them, being Leech Seed, Giga Drain, Mega Drain, Horn Leech, and Absorb. All right, now we're gonna get into what is grass weak to. Grass is weak to five types, not the best defensive typing. That's why you usually see it with, like, your grass mons have a secondary typing, like poison and whatnot. All right, fire first. Why are they weak to fire? Fire burns grass. You know, happens. F wildfires and whatnot. Forest fires. Very tragic. <laughs> Flying. So, um, birds eat grass and stuff, you know? Make nest out of it. Use grass. Easy. Easy one. Next, poison. Poison. What doesn't... Poison, like, kill grass, definitely, pollution and whatnot. Global warming happens, definitely nowadays. All right, bug, next, bugs. Use grass just as much as um birds use them, so, you know, that's something to look at. And finally, ice, ice, cold temperatures. You don't see much grass around cold temperatures, do you? Do you see any grass in Antarctica? Penguins playing with grass? No, they're not. They're playing with ice. Those are the five typings. That's why they're weak to them. Now let's talk about what grass type Pokemon are strong against. To start off, we have the water type, such as Slowbro here. Water type is weak to grass because grass's roots can soak up water without water dealing any damage to it. That's why it's also resisted. And ground types as well, like Crocorock here, because the roots of grass can just penetrate the ground with the ground also not being able to resist it. And finally is the rock type, which much like ground, roots can grow out of rocks and eventually split them too. So grass type is actually very powerful against all three of these types. Alrighty, so now let's get into the best and the worst of the grass types. To start us off, Sunkern is the worst grass type in the game, and actually the worst Pokemon in the game, according to average base stats. It has the lowest combined base stats at only 180 with a uh, base 30 in every single aspect that's HP defense attack special defense speed and I think defense I think I got them all in there anyways the best of the grass types is mega septile with a combined average base stats of 630 now Rob will talk to you about the best competitive grass type in our opinions Okay, this is not opinionated, and no, Mega Sceptile is not better than this monster. You know who it is, the best grass type in the format, easily, any format, I don't care which format, you don't know what format I'm talking about, who cares, Mega Venusaur, 
Okay, some of you are like, Mega Shaman, Mega Shaman. Oh, wait, Mega Shaman? Regular? I don't know what the hell. Shaman Sky. There we go. Shaman Sky is not Mega. It could be. But Shaman Sky. All right, you hexy little devil, you. <laughs> it's Ubers for a reason. So let's stick with Mega Venusaur. This thing's a monster. 80 HP, 100 attack, 123 defense, 122 special attack, 120 special defense, 80 speed. Tell me it's bad stat. It's not there, okay? It's even kind of fast, especially for a wall that it is. This thing can be specially defensive, physically defensive. Why not both? It is both. <laughs> you can be fully specially defensive and take physically hits perfectly fine. Specially offensive, obviously, and physically offensive, controversially, but I'll get into that later. Um, let's look at some of its moves. Leech Seed, easy. Sleep Powder, easy. Giga Drain, Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, gets all these things. Synthesis for recovery. And now we're going to get into its physical move pool. Now listen to this. What, it's only 100 attack. How are you going to physically attack with Mega Venusaur? I bet its move pool sucks too. Have you ever heard of Swords Dance? Huh? Swords Dance Mega Venusaur is real, okay? Earthquake, Outrage. Outrage. Listen to me. Outrage. <laughs> Power Whip. There's so many things that this thing can do. It will tear through your team. Not only that, Knock Off. Remember Knock Off? Remember when you had a Psychic switch into this thing? Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> so that's why Mega Venusaur is the best grass type in the format. Hands down. No questions asked. No arguing. I swear if you argue, you're going to get banned from the channel. No questions asked. Okay. Now let's go over the prominent trainers that specialize in the grass type. First up, straight out of Celadon City, is the Gen 1 Erica, who is the Perfume Professor. Let me tell you, she specializes in Perfume and Grass type Pokemon. She loves her Vile Plume, and it is hit super hard, as we even saw in the anime. Next up is Silence, straight from Unova region. This is the first gym leader that you encounter if you select the starter of Oshawott. Now, Silent, also in the anime, joined Ash on his journey, and w we learned that he was a connoisseur. And next up is Ramos, who has probably one of the most intricate gyms in all of the Pokemon games, where you swing from vine to vine, jumping on trampolines, and climbing up vines and stuff, which kind of makes you wonder how he got all the way up there in the first place. Now let's check out some notable moves. Alright, let's get into the status, uh, status I first. Aromatherapy. Your your mods have all these statuses on them, you know, like all these uh, poisons, f uh, burns and whatnot. You don't know how to cure them? Slap on that aromatherapy. Practically every grass mon learns it. This thing is very useful. Heal Bell, aromatherapy, that's practically the same thing. So that's what that does. Moving on, Stun Spore. Those dank paralyzations, you need those, you know. Slap a Jirachi on your team, compliment that grass type, and sweep the entire team with those para flinches. I don't know another strategy that you would use. Uh, next, we got some sleep powder. Put that mon to sleep. Easy peasy. They'll, they won't bother you. And if you want some more accurate sleep powder, go with Spore. Very accurate sleep powder. And probably one of the best statusing moves in the game. That's what we got for statuses on grass types. Now we go on to damage -ing moves. Yeah, let's check out some very hard-hitting grass type moves in... The most common ones that you'll be seeing in competitive play. So to start out we have Giga Drain. This is the preferred special attack for, po for a grass type Pokemon because it gives you back your HP which is really key in recovery from competitive battles because you don't get hyper potions and super potions and fresh waters and stuff like that. But next up we have Solar Beam, the most powerful grass type move. I think it's more powerful than Power Whip or at least they're the same. But this is a special move and hits the first time, first turn in the sun, otherwise it takes two turns to set up. But this is great with chlorophyll mons or even like Charizard Y. And next up is Bullet Seed. This is a great physical move that hits two to five times and is commonly saw, seen on like Technician Breloom because it gets boosted from uh, from 125 or from 25 base power. And next up is Seed Bomb. Is this is just a really hard hitting. Um, grass type move that's physical is mo more Pokemon get it than power whip so that's why I didn't put power whip on here but yeah seed bomb just hits really hard on the physical side next up we'll check out some grass type recovery all right let's get into recovery let's go with some leech seed first 
Leech Seed is a move that forces switches. You gain back health every time you use this move. It's, I don't know how... You, you kind of... Uh, it forces your opponent to switch out. It's, it's a great move. Trust me. Use it. Move, moving on. Next is Synthesis. This is the way that grass types recover health. It's very convenient. Um, don't use it in the sand, so that's my first advice. But other than that, still a great move. Even boosted even more in the sun, I believe. So, 75%. So, go ahead and use those recovery moves. Very nice. Now, grass types are prone to many types, and it doesn't make it the best defensive type. There, It has at least five weaknesses, and the only reason that Mega Venusaur is so good as a wall is because of Thick Fat, which negates two of those, being Fire and Ice. Alright, but they also have many utility moves, such as Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and whatnot, that makes them more viable in whatever format you choose to play, so not completely terrible. Yeah, very true. They also have very uh, average overall stats, meaning that you can run physical, you can run special, you can do a lot of different things with grass types. They're kind of like a jack of all trades. Unlike in the started, starting types, fire is more offensive based usually, water is usually more uh, defensively based, and grass is just kind of a mix of both, and again, it has a lot of utility moves. And that's going to wrap up our video on everything about the grass types. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to leave a comment on anything that we might have missed, or anything that you learned from this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up on the like button. It lets me know that you like these videos and you want me to keep them coming. And to not miss a beat, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that uh, you'll be up to date with the channel and all new videos coming out. But big thanks to Rob or the Psychic Metacham for joining me on this Everything About the Grass Tights video. Uh, his link will be in the description below. It is the greatest channel ever. Yeah, that's what I thought. We literally have the greatest content. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to find out. But I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with pornography you on YouTube. So What? what? <laughs> pornography? <laughs> Porn pornography? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Sub to me and sub to Joey. Joey's a cool dude. So hey. do that. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day.